Well, some other news we're following right now. Breaking news. The man accused of killing a blind rabbit employee in 2015 has pleaded guilty. And for the first time, he's telling authorities who else was with him during that crime. And what we're learning about this today is this. Aaron Coleman was arrested in 2016 for killing 20-year-old Daniel Rowe. And Daniel Rowe was a young father of two killed in Riverside. That's right. And so today we also learned that the state recommended he get life in prison. Aaron Coleman is who we're talking about. Our Julia Janae is at the Duval County Courthouse now and joins us live with the latest tonight. Anthony, the family of Daniel Rowe is saying today that they have half justice based on what they heard in court today from Aaron Coleman. Now, he laid out in open court today with testimony that there were details of the robbery, how he agreed with a second person to go to Blind Rabbit, demand money and leave uh, over after they received money. And he said that Daniel Rowe didn't resist at all, that he turned over what they asked for and laid on his stomach. That's why Rose family today saying they still don't understand why Coleman decided to shoot anyway. For me, that was mortifying that they had him down. They had him face down on the ground and I don't get a door startled him. You're the man with the gun. There's no way to comfort a child knowing that all of her friends have mom and dads, but her dad's not around anymore. There's not a way to comfort your child with that. Now we've reached out to JSO and the state attorney's office on the status of this second person who was identified in court today. JSO, the public information office says they haven't gotten any information on it and they haven't been told that they can put something out. So at this point, there is no arrest warrant for this person who again was named and a picture was signed by Aaron Coleman of this second person who he said didn't pull the trigger, but was with him during the commission of that robbery. Now the sentencing hearing for Coleman will be held on September 25th. Fourth. Reporting live from the Duval County Courthouse, Julia Janae, First Coast News. Julia, thank you. People who live in Paradise Lakes hate to see rainy days because it leaves.